Okay, this board is the Padillac, which is our, our big wave board. Uh, John John Florence won the Eddie riding one. Billy Camper won Jaws three separate times riding a Padillac. And Mark Healy's caught the biggest paddle in wave of the year a few years back, riding one of the first ones that I made him. I make them for a bunch of different guys here on the North Shore. Nathan Florence, Koa Rothman, all just pushing the limits and all of them giving me their feedback along the way, allowing me to refine it even more. It's designed to paddle into waves really well, but also to ride waves really well. The bottom rocker is a really clean, continuous curve. It doesn't have a ton of flip anywhere. It's a real smooth curve, which keeps the board, A, paddling really fast and easy, but also it feels very consistent and solid on a wave, even at high speeds. One of the biggest features of the Padillac is the wide points a bit forward, and then also most of the volume of the board, the thickest portions of it are up underneath the chest area where you'd be paddling and even forward up into the nose. The deck rocker is really flat going into a little beak in the nose. It keeps a lot of that foam up under your chest, which is a great thing when you're trying to paddle, when you're getting caught inside and you need to scratch over and get out of the way of a wave this is gonna give you a little extra speed that way. At the same time, you don't want a super bulky board to surf, so the back half of the board is really foiled out like through the tail and especially in the rail down into this is a very thin, refined rail going into the whole back end of the board. That gives you, as you come off the bottom and you switch to your tail, you have a sensitivity in your board that you don't have if you just had this bulkiness from up in the front. Also, the weight and the, the extra volume in the front gives you kind of a projection and kind of some inertia through a wave, which is nice. It almost like pushes you down the line as you go. Um, we usually make them with a four fin set up and a lot of people are a little nervous about four fins that don't ride them all the time. But when you're surfing bigger waves, you tend to draw your turns a little differently. You're not doing snaps, you're doing more of a round turn even if you're on a thruster. And the four fin is a really good setup for that kind of turning. And what it does in addition to that is it gives you a lot of speed as, you, as you're dropping in, you get tons of speed right away, speed off the bottom, but at the same time, it keeps the board really loose and responsive feeling, which is nice. So usually people that are riding one of these boards, they'll be surprised at the, the great paddle power of the size of it, but then it feels like it surfs like a much shorter board and much more responsive board, which is pretty much the dream for, sur for bigger waves. The other thing we do is we keep the glass jobs really solid. So you have a nice bit of weight to the board. They hold up really well. And um, they're just really good for like a deeper water sort of wave. It doesn't have to be a giant wave, but big waves. It really gives you like that feeling of comfort in the lineup when you know you can just scratch out of the way of a set that's coming when you think you might get caught inside. Or you can also get into a wave a lot easier and a lot faster and earlier than you would on a more rockered out, thinner traditional gun. These things you can catch a wave and be up standing up before the thing's even breaking a lot of times, which is really fun. Um, Anyways, that's it, the Padillac.